What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Happy Wednesday. Glad you can make it. Glad you're with me. Hope all is well. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Hope you're having a great week. Uh, today's video, we're going to talk about inspections. Why, as a buyer, you should absolutely always do them, even if you're a little tight on money, find the extra money, find the extra cash, and why you should never submit an offer waiving your inspection. Um, first and foremost, you know, if I'm a listing agent, especially in the height of the market that we were in, the seller's market, and even now, I'm looking for offers for sure, um, you know, that are waiving the inspection. That's one less thing that could happen that can, you know, kill a deal and fall, make the deal fall apart. With that being said, however, as a buyer's agent, I would never recommend my client waive an inspection or not do the inspection. Um, it's absolutely, you know, even if you're like, oh man, I'm so tight on money, find somebody. If you got to borrow it from a parent, if you got to borrow it from a friend, whatever the case may be, the extra, the $500 you spent on the inspection is way better than a year or two after you purchased a home having to do a five to $10,000 foundation repair, roof repair, HVAC repair, uh, hot water heater replace, whatever the case may be, whatever might have been found and saved you a ton of money early on. Um, in the process and, you know, maybe, you know, uh, the seller would do the you know work for you or you can always just back out of the deal. So um, first and foremost, you know, a lot of homes now because it's a seller's market still, it's it's cooled off a little bit, but still a seller's market for sure. Um, you know, a lot of homes are being listed as as is um, and that's all fine and dandy and everything. And, you know, the as is thing, when you agree to an as is deal, when you get into the deal, you sign the contract, as long as you didn't waive the inspection and you still put in your offer that you were going to do the inspection, if there's something that came up in the inspection that was not disclosed, whether the seller was hiding it or honestly didn't know about it, either way, the whole details of the contract have changed now. Okay, you have your seller's disclosure, you, you know, whatever you were told, whatever, and then you have your seller's disclosure that was disclosed to you, given to you by the seller about everything they know about the property. So that's what you're taking in as the gospel. Now, when you do an inspection and something comes up, even if the home is being sold as is, if there's something major that comes up that was not disclosed, again, whether the seller was you know, just trying to hide it or honestly didn't know about it, either way, it's a whole new thing. It's a, all new terms have been, uh, you know, all new terms are now there. Um, the house is not in the, dis, you know, not in the condition um, that you signed the contract under. So you are able to go to the seller, say, look, I know it was an as-is deal, but I did that under the assumption that everything was disclosed in the seller's disclosure, whether you knew about it or not, one way or the other, I want it repaired or I want money taken off or I'm just going to walk away. So one big reason to always do that is, you know, on as is deals, um, it still gives you a way to get out of the deal if the home is not under the condition that you were assumed that you that was assumed to be under. Um, it gives you a way out and you get your contract, you get your deposit back, you get your earnest money deposit back um, as long as you're in that 10 to 14 day inspection window. Um, and again, please remember, I understand there's, it takes up, it costs a lot of money to buy a home. You know, you're talking about somewhere between three and a half to 10% down probably. Then you have your closing costs, which is another five to 6% of the sales price, whatever the case may be. I understand but again, the $500 cost up front versus a year to three years down the road, you paying five to $10,000 on a foundation repair, a roof repair, all that stuff that could have been found out during your inspection. Um, it's just so important. Um, you know, a lot of inspectors, what they will do is they'll um, either color code it, you know, green, yellow, red, or, you know, green being, you know, the condition is fine. No problems there, you know, yellow being, hey, it's going to need attention in like a one to five, you know, year window and red means it's urgent and needs to be addressed right away. Now, again, every house has issues, so I'm not telling you to beat up any kind of inspection. You know, every house is going to have small issues. Um, I'm not telling you to kill the deal for, you know, and ask for repairs on anything, um, especially if it's an as is deal. But, you know, again, if there's something that wasn't disclosed, that's a major thing, a foundation issue. If the roof, if they said the roof was fine and then your inspector says, hey, this roof is about a year or two away um, from needing a whole new roof, you should not be caught. You should not be liable for those costs. So it saves you. Now, if you're OK with that, if it's your dream home, you're like, I don't want to break the deal. 
whatever, you go to them, you ask for the repairs, they say, absolutely not, I'm not doing a thing, then you have a decision to make. You can still walk away, though, even though you signed a contract as it as is, because, again, the terms have changed. The condition of the house is not under the condition that you assumed it to be under based on your repairs, and you can still walk away, get your earnest money deposit back, no harm done, go back out and search again. So, again, just a pretty quick video, not, you know, not real, you know, crazy video or anything like that, but again, I am urging you if you are a buyer, you have to always pay up for your inspections and you have to always, uh, I'm sorry, never submitting an offer, waiving your appraisal, uh, waiving your inspections. It's just not a smart thing to do. And, um, you know, your licensed realtor that you're working with should, should, um, know a very good inspector if you're worried about finding someone that can do it all. Uh, my inspector does, you know, the termites, does the radon, um, does the regular home inspection. He does everything. He checks the roof, checks the HVAC system, checks the water heater uh, for age, you know, all those things, checks foundation, whatever you name it, he does it. He'll note, you know, if a socket isn't working, electrical socket isn't working. And again, that's something you wouldn't ask for a repair for, you know, if there's an electrical socket not working, um, you know, little things like that, you know, whatever the case may be, is there, if there's a scratch on the wall, if there's a, you know, hole, if there's a tiny little nick in the wall, whatever the case may be, those are things you do not ask for. The big things would be structural or, you know, the HVAC system's not working properly. The air conditioning system's not working properly. The roof needs to be repaired. Those are things you would ask for um, after you do the inspection. Big things like that. You can ask for whatever you want, obviously, um, but it's important not to, you know, kill the deal and nick pick and kill, you know, kill the, you know, beat up the house uh, after you're under inspection because it could piss off the seller. And maybe the seller's just like, no, go kick rocks. I'm not doing a thing. Let's just get out of this deal ourselves and then go look for another buyer. So again, it's important to, you know, know your wins and losses there. But the bottom line is you should always do your inspection and you should never offer an offer waiving your inspection. It's important for a buyer. It saves you a lot of headaches down the road. And in the long run, it probably is going to save you money at the end of the day. So um, that was my video for today. Happy Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you Friday.